Hey, what's up leaders? This is the fourth through sixth grade leader video for January 25th through the 31st. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that way you are updated on any uh, videos that get posted, specifically on weeks where you are not scheduled to serve in the ministry. I wanna make sure that you guys are as up to date as everyone else. And so let's jump in to some of the things that are coming up in the ministry that you should be aware of. All right, so in this All the Things segment, I try and go over some of the big picture ideas that, that we have coming up that impact the kids' ministry and, uh, and are impacted primarily by what we're doing as a church. And, uh, and so this is for everyone, even if you're not serving this weekend. Um, the big thing that, uh, that we have coming up starting in February is we're doing as a church uh, our February challenge, which we've been using over the last four months to help keep us connected with uh, discipleship steps, ways to stay connected to community and to Jesus. And this February's challenge we're going to learn about this weekend is uh, about how to extend your Bible study into community. So we're going to be doing February Zoom groups, um, and we're going to be using the neighborhood groups that, that we have already established through the YouTube um, or not the YouTube, the Uversion Bible app, and uh, and also the Facebook um, groups that have been established. And we're going to start uh, having some Zoom meetings uh, for PBJ uh, available. So if you are already a part of a group, I would encourage you to, to look into that, check that out. Um, we as uh, people, as Michael has been encouraging, are, uh, we can't fulfill our mission to help people find and follow Jesus if we are not saturated in God's word and filled by the Holy Spirit. And that's the hope and the vision for us this year as, as people who are following God is that we would be saturated in God's word and filled by his spirit. And one of the ways we do that is by engaging in community. So I hope you will take that next step to join a, a February Zoom group um, and to amplify and extend your leadership uh, to prepare as you serve and, and care for kids in the classroom. Um, that would go a long way. So the next thing, real quick, is our Saturday night service is uh, coming. We, uh, we have always had a Saturday night service, but now we are going to be extending and bringing back the Saturday night kids ministry services. So we have set a date for that, which is February 6th. Uh, Super Bowl weekend. It's coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend. So if that is something that you have availability for to par participate and to serve on a Saturday night, if that's uh, attractive to you, I would encourage you to reach out to me. We're, we aren't going to be populating those teams really early on because we don't anticipate there to be a huge response right away, but eventually those services will start to fill up. So we're trying to gauge who might be interested in serving and volunteering on a Saturday night. And if that's you, feel free to reach out and let me know. All right, let's jump ahead to the things that are happening in the classroom this weekend. All right, the last thing we're gonna cover is what's coming up this weekend in the fourth or sixth grade classroom. And this week we have an episode of The Loop Show called The Loop Show Likes You. And uh, the reason why it's uh, titled that is because usually once a month they try and throw in a request show um, that's kind of developed into this uh, bi-monthly um, uh, episode where there's three elements that are associated with the, with the video. The first one is that there's usually a off the wall challenge that they participate in, which isn't super new from any of their other current series that they do, but uh, this one is a standalone challenge. And this week's challenge that they're gonna be doing is associated with cat toys. Um, it's a, it's a fun uh, idea and it kind of draws in this idea of animals and, and uh, understanding just the, the nuance of, of how animals play and all, it, you know, it's, it's goofy. But the way that we're going to engage with that aspect of the Loop Show this week is we have an activity that we're going to do um, that we'll participate in. It'll be a uh, competition at the beginning of class time. And, uh, and so the activity is included in the email. You can take a look at it, but I will be the one um, leading through it in our big group time um, and explaining it to the kids uh, on how we'll play it. Um, we're gonna be competing for 
cat butts candy. Yes, the stakes have never been higher. And, uh, and so the, the winner of the competition, the table that wins the competition will all receive cat butts candy. And, uh, and I'm sure we'll enjoy them after class is over because obviously we don't eat in class, right? Okay, uh, well that's gonna be the first uh, part of the activity. Um, we'll do that together and then we'll watch the loop show. And then uh, the second part of the loop show likes you that they kind of tie in is uh, a virtue. Uh, and they try and look at it from a Christian perspective. And this week's virtue that they're going to be focusing on is empathy. Empathy, which is when we take time to try and feel what someone else is feeling. Uh, that's kind of the idea, the general idea of what empathy is. And um, this is a really important virtue that, uh, that we can... Um, be better at as a society. So many, uh, so many areas of our society are struggling with understanding why people are feeling and believing and doing what they are doing. And, uh, and usually, and this kind of builds on what we talked about last week, if we just have some common ground, if we look for common ground, we can try and understand why people are doing what they're doing and feel uh, a little bit of the, the pain and, the, and the, the frustration behind why they're going through what they're going through. So. It's an important uh, idea. There's some questions in the lesson guide that kind of help um, bring, out, bring out that conversation that you'll do after our um, video. And, um, and then the third thing that's a part of the Loop Show Likes You is they like to ask a requested question from, from their uh, audience. And so in the, um, let me pull this out real quick. In the uh, Loop Show, uh, they have the, all these postcards and the kids will get these um, postcards in, in their bags. Um, and, uh, and there's a, a spot on there that says, um, what's a topic or question that you hope we talk about in the loop? And, uh, and they respond to one this week. But, um, and, and there's plenty of opportunities for you guys to connect that big question that they fo focus on during the loop show. But um, it might be interesting for you guys to really uh, press into having the kids fill this out. And, uh, and see what big questions that they um, would like the Loop Show to discuss. And, uh, and if they're more interested in those questions than they are the other questions, then um, you know, press into that a little bit and see, uh, see if there's any way in which you can just listen. Um, that doesn't mean you have to answer all those big questions because uh, that's, that's not necessarily um, always the best thing, but listening to why they have those questions is a really important thing. So, um, if uh, after the the loop show's done, um, they're going to there's going to be time for us to do our lesson guides together and walk through all those um, walk through those questions that are on there. Um, the focus for the the um, the conversation is on God as a creator, how how God is our creator, and and uh, how because God is a creator, we can acknowledge or we can at least understand that we can engage with him through his creation. Um, that doesn't mean that God is a tree or God is the sky or the sun or something that is created. Um, that's, it means that we can see him through that, but we look beyond that object to the creator behind it. So we can find God in creation and we can follow him by being creative in how we live and bringing about the the uh, new creation that God has begun through Jesus. And we are God's partners in new creation. This is God's mission for us is to go into the world and to make disciples. And that's what God wants us to do is to be creative, to use our creative potential to help others know him and follow him. Um, and so this is a, a, a really cool topic, a really cool opportunity to kind of see, show kids that um, because of who God is, that impacts how we live and who we are. And so I hope that will, uh, that will bring about some cool discussions for you, discussion opportunities for you. And I hope that kids will have some uh, fun maybe filling this out and, uh, and I'll collect these at the end and we can send these off to the Loop Show and see if we get any of our postcards read for next week. Um, or not next week, but the next time they do uh, a Loop Show request uh, episode. 
So, um, so that's the stuff for this weekend. Um, as you prepare, uh, just make sure that you are uh, thinking about the huddle. Um, 30 minutes prior to the service, make sure you're there and wear your team kid shirt. Um, and I'm excited to see you guys and serve along with you guys this weekend. Um, and uh, it should be fun. I will, I will uh, see you guys on Sunday morning. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, please text me, which is the best way to get a hold of me uh, after uh, the, the email is sent out on Thursday. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.